hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is the seventh part of api testing series and today we are going to talk about json and it's very important to understand the file format json file format while working with api testing so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about what is json i'll show you different examples of json file format and we'll discuss why we use json file format or why it is required and at last we'll discuss about the differences between json and xml file format so let's get started what is json so it's a file format uh, which is used for the communication purpose between client and server so whenever we work with client and server based application we need to exchange the data right we need to uh, there is a communication between client and server and how they are exchanging the data so using json file format they are exchanging the data now the question arises here is uh, why we cannot use other file format like excel doc or pdf correct so we need to send the data in encrypted format from client and it should be decrypted at server end and also it should be lightweight and easy uh, readable format right so json uh, have json is having all those characteristics that's why we're using json file format now there are some other file formats as well like xml sometimes we use xml and sometimes we use html file format but this is uh, most popular json file format correct so now let's talk about a uh, different uh, other features of json so what is json basically so json stands for java script object notation java script object notation this is the full form of json it is derived from javascript so that's why uh, the name says itself right json so java script object notation json originated from javascript javascript language standard file format used to interchange data so it is used to interchange the data between client and server json is lightweight text based language independent data interchange format language independent means we can use any uh, we can use json file format with any other uh, programming languages like java c sharp uh, ruby perl or any other programming languages we can use however it is derived from javascript but we can use this json file format with any other programming languages so and another thing is the extension of this file format is dot json it is language independent data format as the as we have discussed it supports almost every kind of language framework and library data is in key value pairs which i'll show you while uh, talking about different examples json is easy to read and write and data types a string number boolean null object and arrays so these are the different data types so values these are the data types of uh, values we use a string number boolean null null as value and object so these are the different examples of how we keep the data inside json file or how we write the data inside json file so if we talk about the first example so whatever we write inside curly braces those are all objects in json those are all objects so if we talk about the first example here and what we can say json objects holds key value pair so what is key over here name is a key this is a key and mark is a value so name is a key which ho which is of a string type right so just remember always uh, the key should be of a string type always this is an object so that should be always a string type and that should be written within the double quotation and it should be separated with colon and then what is the data we have a uh, value we have mark that is nothing but the value value which is of a string type so value could be anything uh, uh, of any type in this case we have name because name should be always a string so here we have written in double quotation like mark so value 
uh, could be of any type like uh, string number boolean it could be null as well or uh, objects or arrays as well as we have discussed earlier different data types right so data type is for uh, values only if we talk about the second example here we have age as a key this is a key and it holds 23 so this is a data type of number right a number data type so 23 is nothing but a number uh, data type if we talk about the third example here so days is a key here this is a key and it holds an array so array should always be written within the square bracket just remember that and it holds a string of arrays right so we have days seven days of week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday those are all written within the square bracket so this is any start uh, this is the start of the uh, array and this is the end of array that is written within the uh, square bracket right so it this uh, particular uh, json holds the value of an array a string of arrays right uh, array of string type now if you talk about the third example or uh, fourth example so here employee is a key and it holds an object because it is written within the curly braces so this is an object this is an object and inside that we have different keys like name is jackson and salary 56000 and married is of boolean type right this value is boolean type true or false so here you can see this uh, particular uh, json uh, json file holds an object uh, and value is also object uh, data of object type right so these are the different examples of how we write the data inside json file let me uh, show you another example so this is another example so here we have employees as key and you can see we have an array over here so what type of array we have so here you can see different uh, employees are there there are three employees those are uh, object objects right so this is an this is an object object one this is object two and this is object three so this is an array of objects what is this this is an uh, an array of objects so this employee holds an array of objects so this is object one peter id is 23 and status is true here we have david 24 and false and just remember there should be a whatever uh, when we write the object so it should be separated with a comma here you can see we have separated with comma here we have separated with comma and at last it should not be required for the last object so these these are the different examples of how we uh, write how we write the uh, data inside json file now let me talk about different uh, i'll show you different uh, uh, like how we find particular data inside json file so i'll give you uh, different websites so let me show you so this is json pathfinder so how we are finding the path of particular data right so how we get the data inside json file so this is very good website jsonpathfinder.com so if you just uh, expand this so here you can see array starts with zero right so that's why here we have written uh, it is written like zero one and two this is first position zeroth position this is the first position and this is the second position so suppose we want uh, this uh, what is data uh, of array uh, with the zero position right so we have name as peter so this is the path of my this particular data so this x is the root node dot employees is the key and this is an array so of zeroth position dot name so we want name right so we'll write dot name suppose we want id so what we can write employees with zeroth position dot id similarly for the third uh, data like true uh, status similarly here you can see employees and within the uh, square bracket one dot name so this is how we get the data from json file this is how we write the path of json now i'll give you uh, some other websites as well so this is how we 
we can exchange uh, we can uh, format the data from json to xml format so this is xml format this is how it looks like so this is again uh, useful website there is another website here we have jsonpath.com so what i'll do i'll keep my uh, json over here the example which i have shown you just now the employees one and what i'll do here we have to write the uh, the path suppose we want uh, we want the uh, we'll write the path over here and we want to get the particular data so how we write employees right employees and which position you want the first position dot name so it gives me david here you can see the first position what we have david this is zeroth position this is the first position and this is the second position so if you write like second second so it will it gives me the second data the on second position we have name as john suppose i want id of the second data so here we have 25 so this is the id which we are getting so these are the useful websites so i'll uh, i'll provide the link in the description box of this video you can find out the links in the description box now let me talk about uh, why json is required right so it's let me start uh, so why json is required uh, json needed we, it's readable and uh, understandable and performance wise json is quite fast as it consumes very less memory space structured data so in json a map data structure is used map data structure data structure whereas in xml follows a tree structure free tool so json library is open source and free to use so that's the reason we use json file because it's very easy to understand and uh, uh, whatever data we write inside json file we can easily write uh, our data and we can understand as well now this is uh, the differences between json and xml so json is easy to learn and xml is quite more complex to learn than json it is simple to read and write it is more complex to read and write uh, than json it is data oriented and this is document oriented it supports the array as we have seen it doesn't support the array json types string number array boolean string number array and boolean and all xml data should be string so this is all for today so let me know if you have any other questions so if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it thank you so much for watching have a nice day